Okay, y'all. So we're going to get into a little bit of Cardi B's annoying regular rant that she always does when she, oh, my album, my album, and the fans, and Nikki, and God, I'm just trying to figure out why this guy was throwing shade at Nikki. Anyway, that's not the hill there. I say the girl's scared to drop because Nikki dropping again. Let's go ahead and listen to this. I'm going to give y'all my commentary. And by the way, because I feel like somebody was trying to imply this. And I want to make this very clear. I'm very confident with what I got when it comes to everything. When it comes to music, when it comes to me, I don't care how many people and who drops. That should not stop me. The only person that I got to tap is my mother herself. I want to make this very clear to that person. I'm not afraid of nothing. I'm not afraid of no. I'm afraid of my own success. Because you know who's hard to beat? It's hard to beat me. But another bitch eat, it don't make me shit. I want to repeat that shit because that's, that's something that I really want to let them know. But another bitch eat, don't not make me shit at all. At all. Because I know I'm always have me a fucking play. That's a fact. Even on my slowest year, this has been my slowest year. I don't, yo, this, this year has been a really weird year for me. Like, it's like, I don't know, like, everything just, everything just hit me all at once in my personal life. Not really in, like, my business life, but all in my personal life. And, um... It's been a very weird year, but I feel like now that a lot of things is out my way, it's like I'm ready. Like, I'm ready to get back to that motion. But let me tell you something. The only person that blocks me is me. Not no bitch, not no nigga, not no fucking nothing. And I want to make that very clear to that person. There's no crosses. Uh, uh, a lot of y'all not Caribbean. If y'all need to look put that up, look it up. No crosses against me is gonna f- prosper. You trying to do, trying to say shit because you want that those crosses to prosper against me. They not. I keep saying, I keep saying, you gotta wish on a real big star. You gotta wish on a real big star for me to be washed away. Look at me in my slowest year. Look at me in my slowest year. Look at me with the, with the whole Kamala hair. So you saw how long I was being talked about for that? Me? And so many people talk, so many, so many people talk, so many people did this, so many people did that, and I'm always the most talk. You know how many my fans, you know how hard my fans harass me for my music? You know how much my enemies, my own enemies harass me for my music? Why would you think, why, why, why do you think that any cross is going to prosper against me, baby? You can't. You got to, I don't know. You're going to have to, you're going to have to praise each and every fucking religion to fucking put me down. You're going to have to go from Catholic to Christian to uh, Muslim to fucking Isa. You're going to have to praise every God. You're going to have to turn Hindu. You're going to have to pray to every God. And guess what? My downfall will never happen. I'm going to always be relevant. I'm always be that bitch. I'm my own competition. I keep telling you that. I'm my own. So, y'all, this is my thing right here, okay? So, Cardi was on live vending and stuff. I ain't even going to listen to the whole thing, but she was on live vending. And speaking on how she stay at the clubs and she need to get her life together and all of this, she just was on live talking about this the other day. I don't know if y'all remember this, but we about to play this real quick. Let me go to live by so y'all can see this because, girl... I don't know why this girl even coming up here with this foolishness when she the one came up here with all this other, oh, I need to get my life together. I need to do this, that, and third. So, girl, why is you even coming up with here, up here with this? Ain't nobody even asked you about none of this. Why are you up here trying to start a Nikki beef? Don't come up here distracting Nikki because you ain't got it together. Uh, my album will be out. My businesses, my secret businesses will be out. Shh, I can't. To push the album back again. I feel like I've been going outside. I have to. 
I have to go outside because it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, you know, I'm dealing through a divorce. So I have to, like, you know, enjoy myself. I gotta enjoy myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm as I say I love outside. I wanna be outside. Honey. You know, one thing about being outside that some nights is like, sometimes you go outside, you're like, woo! I want to be outside. I want to go to the Aptis. I want to go to the fucking IHOP right after. Like, you want to be outside all night long. And then there's some nights that you go outside and the liquor hits you wrong. And you and you stuck in the club at 3.30 like this. Like, I need me a nigga. I got no nigga. Oh, my God. I'm homeless. And then you start thinking, you start getting sad. That's the only thing I don't like about outside. Sometimes you never, you never know when the liquor's gonna hit you. Like you don't know how the liquor's gonna hit you. So yeah, but all I know is no more outside. Good. Ain't nobody. See what I be saying? Ain't nobody tell Carter to come up here with all this. Okay. So I just feel like she needs to stay out of the clubs and she need to get her life together, like she said. Okay. Stop telling your business. Then you wonder why those folks called CPS. Now, they was wrong, okay? But you keep giving folks the ammo, okay? So then she goes on Spaces with the little rant we just played. And it's the same rant every year, okay? And she constantly directs her anger towards Nikki. Party, at this point, nobody cares, okay? But if you're not scared of Nikki, then, girl, just drop the album. If not, just put up, just, really, it's basically put up or shut up. That's basically what it is, Okay. You've only dropped one album in over seven years, okay? That's seven years ago. Who exactly do you think you're going to outdo? I'm just, I don't understand this speech every year for the past seven to 10 years. You come up here talking, but it seems you're only doing it to convince yourself. You're not convincing us because we're not worried about that cheating husband nor that never dropping album, okay? It's only the sponsorships that are keeping you afloat, sis, not the music. And that's no shade, but somebody has to really tell her because this girl here talking about, oh, I'm this, I'm that. Yes, it's good to say you the ish. It's good to say all that. But girl, you, why are you up here dropping and talking about music? You ain't worried about no music. And baby, we not either. I'm sorry.